Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you're not new, thank you guys so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. Today we are going to be talking about my February favorites. It has been a while since I filmed a favorites video. So I'm excited because I love filming these and I love watching these. I'm going to start with, let's start with fragrances because you guys are here for the fragrances. First up, let's talk about my like dumb reach. Since I got this, I have worn this nonstop. It is my most worn fragrance in a very long time. And I feel like that's just because of the way it makes me feel, but also it's so easy to wear. This is Burberry Her Elixir. This should come as no surprise because I love the original Burberry Her. And this one is, oh, it's in my opinion, it's a little bit better. I still love the original and I will still wear that one in the spring and the summertime because it's a little bit of a lighter, like juicier strawberry. This one is more dense and more creamy. So the original is like a juicy, powder puff strawberry and this one is like a thick creamy like strawberry ice cream which i love it is simple but it is so good it lasts a little bit longer and it performs a little bit better than the original um and it just smells honestly so decadently delicious if you like creamy strawberries like strawberries and cream you'll love this if you liked burberry her and c fiore fiore however you say it I feel like you will like this. This is just honestly like a gourmand strawberry ice cream or like strawberry vanilla ice cream, something like that. It's creamy. It's so sweet. It's so delicious. I love that. It's so easy to wear. Another one that I've been loving, I forgot about this, but every time I wear this, I always say like, why do I not wear this more? Because this is just like a very easy to wear scent. This is Azaro Wanted Girl. I think, yeah, Azaro Wanted Girl. This, oh, this is like, it. I think it has Dulce, Dul, Dulce de Leche. Is that how you say it? Dulce de Leche. Which is like, think of like a chewy, creamy caramel. There's a little bit of ginger in there, which gives it like a little bit of like this zesty kick. It's not spicy, but it gives it like a tiny bit of like zestiness with that chewy, like chewy, pulley caramel. And then it has like this very feminine white floral. So it has like this sexy edible sweetness to it, but then it also has like this very feminine white floral. So it's kind of sexy, but yet feminine. She's like a tease, honestly, but so, so good. So pretty, so delicious, very wearable. Every time I wear this, what happens is like my collection, some perfumes get like hidden in the back and then I don't see them and I don't reach for them as much. But I was going through my drawer and I rediscovered this and I wore it a lot this month. And I feel like I forgot about her, but every time I wear it, I'm like, why do I not wear this more? Because it's honestly so, so good. So good, so feminine and flirty and delicious yet it's not overly gourmand because it's mixed with that white floral, but it's so good, so easy to wear. I love that. And then this one is another rediscover. Actually, a friend of mine came over and we were going through like my fragrances. And this was one that I was going to sell. And this is Montal's Intense Cafe. But when we were sniffing them, I kind of like fell in love with it all over again. But I wasn't going to sell it because I didn't like it. I've always liked the smell of this, but every time I wore it, because it's so strong, my husband always complains. He's very sensitive to scents. And Intense Cafe is intense. One spray is more than enough. And I usually wore this. I didn't even do like a full spray because I'm already wearing it. So this is going to be like my third spray and I don't want it to be too heavy. But um, what was I going to say? I used to like wear this and gravitate towards this uh, in the fall. But I pulled this out in February all the time. February here in Canada is our coldest month. It is like the worst, snowiest, coldest. It is like the coldest month of the year where I live. And this performed so well in the cold. I love it even more in the winter than I do in the fall. I still liked it in the fall. And crazy enough, okay, it's not one that my husband like goes out of his way to compliment, but like Burberry Her, my husband compliments all the time. It's one that he loves. This one, he didn't compliment, but when I wore it this month, he also didn't complain, which is still a step up because when I used to wear this, he would complain like, oh, you're giving me a headache. That's too strong, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's why I was going to sell it. But when I started wearing it again this month, February, I want to say January and February, I wore this a lot and he didn't complain. He didn't compliment me on it, but he didn't complain, which is still a step up. This, this is, I just said all of that and I didn't even tell you what it smells like, but this is like a sugary, sweet, 
rose mixed with a dark coffee. It's not like a milky, creamy, sweet coffee. There's a darkness, like a bitterness to this. And it's almost like also I get a little bit of like a dark cacao, like a dark chocolate. So it has that sweet sugary rose, which I love. I'm not one who likes rose that much, but I guess because it's so sugary and sweet in this, I like that because I love gourmands. But then it has like this dark kind of bitterness from like the coffee and it almost smells like a dark chocolate or like cacao, which I really like. And in the winter, I, I'm i so glad I gave this another chance because I've just been loving it. And the fact that before I was going to sell it because he was saying it gave him a headache. And obviously, I don't wear fragrance for him, like for my husband, that is. But I also don't want him to like hate it. I don't want to give him a headache because he has to live here too. Um... But the fact that he didn't complain about it now, I feel like either it performs better in the cold or slowly but surely it's kind of grown on him and it doesn't bother him anymore. So it's a win for me either way. I've been liking it and I feel like I like it even more in the winter time than I do in the fall because to be honest with you, in the fall it is sometimes still warm here. Like I like to pretend it's freezing and it's cold and it's sweater weather but it's not always anymore. So I feel like in the winter time performs even better but this is one honestly these two Burberry and Azaro are like easy reaches for me I can wear them whenever they're very easy to wear this is one that I more so only wear in the nighttime and I wear this when I'm dressed up because something about this is very like dark and mysterious a little bit goes a long way and what I love is that it's different not everybody smells like this but it is like it commands a room. So I love, I only wear this when I'm dressed up because something about this gives me like this confidence because when I walk into a room, you know I walk into a room. You can smell me. She commands a room. She gets noticed and I feel like it's because not only is it strong, but it's unique, which I really, really like. That's that one. Is there any other scents that I have? Oh, this is just like a cheapy, easy, easy to wear. This is like when I'm not leaving my house, but I still want to smell good and I don't want to spray like my very expensive products. I've been loving this. This is Champagne Toast by Bath & Body Works. I feel like this is not a new... I got this one for Christmas. This is not a new scent, but I never wore it. I'm not like a huge Bath & Body Works person. I never, I never was. But this smells like tropical fruit. This is so fruity and mouth-watering and delicious. This almost smells like, I don't know what it is, like tropical fruit. This is just fruity and juicy and zesty and mouth-watering. This makes my mouth <gasps> literally water. So I have the body mist and I also have um, the lotion that my friend gave me. And I just love this. So again, like these other perfumes I can wear whenever, but this one I more so wear when I'm just at home. Maybe I'm not really like leaving my house. I'm not doing too much, but I still want to smell good and just like fruity. And this is like a mood lifter. Anytime like I just want to feel happy and uplifted because this is so fruity and just, oh, this is so playful. It's just fun. It's just like uplifting and juicy. It smells like tropical fruits like papaya and guava and grapefruit and passion fruit and Okay, maybe not grapefruit, but it smells like tropical fruits. It smells so mouth-watering and delicious. And then, let's talk about a couple hair products, because I'm talking about fruity. I've talked about day before, um, the Monsoon Moisture Mask. This is like one of my favorite hair masks. I used to use the Macadamia one for years, and then I tried this one, and I love it. It's a hair mask could tell like I really like gave it some love it's a hair mask but I use it like a conditioner because I don't wash my hair all the time um so when I do I just use this in place of conditioner but recently I picked up the day shampoo just like their original shampoo first of all the packaging is like honestly so aesthetically pleasing I don't know if you could tell could you tell from the lighting I don't know but I've gone through about like I'd say a quarter of it I'm like here this, first of all, is a clarifying shampoo, which I love because, like I just said, I don't wash my hair all the time. So, obviously, if I'm not washing my hair every day, I'm only washing my hair once or twice a week. Like, you can get buildup and residue from dry shampoo or from products that you're putting in your hair. So, I like a clarifying shampoo, but this one doesn't, like, dry my hair out. Some clarifying shampoos do. This is, like, very gentle, but it's the smell. It's the smell for me. Like, this smells like tutti fruity bubblegum. This smells so fruity. It kind of is like this perfume. It's like so juicy. This, this, 
makes me want to wash my hair. This, I want to eat this. This smells so good. So I am literally, during the Sephora sale, I'm going to pick up this same conditioner um, from the original line just for the smell. I'm obsessed with it. It smells so delicious, like tutti frutti, <laughs> so good. It also obviously does a great job. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It cleans my scalp without like stripping it and drying it totally. So I love that, but I, ugh, I love the smell. I wish they made like a moisture mask like this one with this smell. This one smells good too, but this one smells like manly, like somewhat unisex. It sm still smells good, but this is like a totally different vibe. This is like just juicy, super fruity and delicious. And then let's get into some makeup, okay? Uh, Merit sent me a couple things to try um, this month. And I'm always willing to try anything from Merit. I've talked about Merit before and I love their products. I swear by them. I guess let's talk about the things that I carry all the time. So these aren't what was sent to me recently, but I wear these all the time. And these are two products that I literally have with me anytime I'm traveling. And I've been traveling a lot lately. Anytime I'm going away somewhere for the weekend, for an overnight, for a vacation, whatever, these are always in my makeup bag. And that's their cream blush. This is in the shade Beverly Hills. This is just my go-to. I have a couple different shades, but I love this shade Beverly Hills because it's honestly like the most... It's very neutral, if you can tell. It's like a very neutral peachy pink. They blend out so effortlessly, so beautifully. You can build them up or sheer them out. What I love about Merit's cream products is that sometimes cream products, like I don't wear them or like I get put off from wearing them because I have to be careful. I have to apply them like before, like a certain time in my makeup routine if that makes any sense. But what I love about Merit is that their cream formula, you can apply before powders or after powders. And some creams, if you apply them after powders, they'll just like pick up your makeup. These don't. I love these. And I love that I could wear them like on their own. That's why they're always in my makeup bag. Um, I can wear it on its own for like a very like neutral, like no makeup makeup because it just looks like skin. Or I can make it, uh, wear it with like a full face of makeup over my powder, which I love. I'm wearing this today and I'm also wearing this, which is their highlighter in the shade Kava. This is like the juiciest, wettest formula. Can you, can you see that? It is so nice. And also what I love about Merit, this video is not sponsored by Merit, okay? Yes, they send me stuff to try sometimes. It's not sponsored. I don't have to say I like a product just because it's sent to me to try. Like, they're just sent to me to try. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't, okay? So this is not sponsored. But I genuinely love these i wear them all the time i'm wearing this highlighter right now and i'm wearing this highlighter over powder and it didn't pick up my makeup you can see it just makes your skin look glossy and beautiful and what i like is that when you wear these on top of powders actually it makes your skin look less powdery like it just kind of melts everything together like butter and i love that so i love these and then the things that they sent to me this month to try they sent me, I shouldn't have done that because I want to show you what it looks like. They sent me their new um, Great Skin Instant Glow Serum and they sent me their lipstick. I've been wanting to try their lipstick anyway. It's actually on my wish list and I was going to get it during the Sephora sale. I don't mind my hair because I literally just washed it and let it air dry and this is how she looks. But anyways, the lipstick is on my wish list. The packaging is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I got the shade Millennial. It's on my lips now but I have something else on top. Um, I got the shade Millennial. The only thing I will say, the formula of this is beautiful. Merit's formulas, just something about everything I've tried so far, I love, genuinely love. And I love it because it's almost like it's mixed with like, it's skincare and makeup in one. So it feels good on your skin. It's like nourishing. This formula of this lipstick is gorgeous. The shade Millennial. I got it. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be a baby pink because the swatches, this is what the swatch looks like. Okay. The swatches on Sephora made millennial look like a baby pink. With that said, it's not the color that I thought it was going to be, but the formula is still gorgeous. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. I still wear it on my lips, but I kind of wanted to show you. So because the swatches on Sephora, if that's what you're going by, if you think you're getting a baby pink, just know on me, it pulls a little bit more I'm just watching a couple other lipsticks next to it so that you could see like the undertone. So do you see what I mean? Like this is a true baby pink and this pulls like a little bit of like a mauve rosy undertone on me, which I still like. 
it's just not the color I thought it was going to be based on the swatches on Sephora. That's all I'm saying. So I just kind of want to give you like a reference. Those are two other swatches. So as you can tell, this one definitely has like that berry mauve undertone and these are like genuinely baby pink. You see what I mean? Like a berry undertone this is the merit one the formula as you can see though is still it's so hydrating it feels like a lip balm and a lipstick together it's very hydrating and nourishing which i love um and then i have it paired with this mac lip gloss called just superb and this is like a true baby pink anyways for me i don't mind because i love a glossy finish and then because this is a baby doll pink that's lip gloss and that's lipstick so because it's a baby doll pink it gives me this lip that I have on right now which I really like I could wear the color on its own also it's just not as nude as I would personally like for like an effortless look I feel like because it's mo a little bit darker of a pink I would have to wear a little bit more makeup because it's just not what I gravitate towards on a daily basis with that said I still think I want to buy another one of these lip uh lipsticks but in the shade baby it's like their nudie shade which I feel like I will love because I really like the formula of this lipstick just the color is not what I thought it was going to be but that's okay because I have a lot of other shades like that and I feel like other people would gravitate towards this color it's just not my everyday like nudie shade but I could definitely make it work and this is the combo that I have been wearing because it gives you like the perfect glossy pinky lip okay and then the other thing they sent me was this and it's called the great skin instant glow serum now out of everything i've tried merit is a brand that i usually say like you can't go wrong this is the first thing i've tried that i feel like is not for everyone i feel like i i wouldn't be able to say like you can't go wrong everyone would love this personally it works for me and i'm very lucky <laughs> that it did um but it's like the one thing I don't know that everyone would love because they call it an instant glow serum. But as you can tell, the formula of this, there's like an oil at the top and then you have to shake it together. You have to shake it. It says shake well and then apply it. But it's not like other serums that I've tried because other serums that I've tried, it's like a water serum. You know, it's like watery. This one is like an oil serum. So... It definitely feels like you're putting a very liquidy, it's like a very liquidy oil on your skin. So the reason I say I can't, I don't know that everyone would like this is because if you have oily skin, I don't know that you would like this. For me personally, it works out because my skin is dry and in Canada, it's obviously it's winter time, it's freezing and the air is dry. So for me right now, um, it works out perfectly. It's not like other serums. I feel like you have to be the type of person who likes a face oil because it definitely performs and it sits like a thin face oil on your skin yes it gives you a glow but the glow of this is different than other products that claim to have a glow it's not like a luminosity glow it's almost like a wet dewy glow because it's like the oil like kind of sits on top of your skin it's very thin it's almost like a dry oil though so it's not like thick gross oil but it's there. You have to like a face oil. For me, like I said, because my skin is dry, it works. I like it. I kind of want to compare it to something. So like, for example, um, this is the Lumi Glotion, which is another favorite of mine. I love this. and I mix this in with my sunscreen and this gives you a glow, but this is like a luminous glow, almost like a highlighters in there, but it's definitely not like a wet glow. It's just, it has like that luminous like you mixed a highlighter in with lotion, right? And then the glow from the Merit is almost like a wet, dewy glow. So this, the reason I love this is because when you put this on, I prefer this like either under a foundation that's like matte, so it gives you that nice glow, or if I'm not wearing foundation and I just want to do like a no makeup makeup look when I put on my sunscreen, my lotion, whatever, and then I put this on, it gives you that nice glow, almost like you just got a hydrafacial, you know, like that dewiness. Okay, <laughs> that squirt was intense, but like, look, do you see, oh, can you see it? Do you see? Okay, first of all, look at how liquidy it is. You have to really like work it in. It's so liquidy, but then you see what I mean? How it's like an oil. It definitely kind of sits on top of your skin and it gives you like that wet glow. 
you have to work it in and the longer it sits on your skin it does soak in a little but like i said you have to be someone who likes a face oil luckily for me I wear face oils anyway, so I'm okay with it. I'm kind of used to it. But if you're someone who's only used to wearing like a traditional serum and then you see this is called a glow serum and you think, hey, it's like a serum. It's not the formula of every other serum. This is like an oily serum. So that's why I don't know if it would be for everyone. I still love it. And that's that. Oh, I almost forgot one fragrance. This is another fragrance that I've been loving. This is the um, dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. And this is by Dapper. I've talked about Dapper before. This fragrance, I kid you not. First of all, it smells like straight up like pink haba baba bubblegum or like bazooka. Is that what it's called? Bazooka, bazooka bubblegum. It comes in like that pink wrapper. There's like a little comic on the inside. Anyways, it smells like pink bubble gum like powdery sweet bubble gum and this clone house dapper's clone for killian love don't be shy this performs better than 90 percent of like my actual fragrances one spray lasts forever it smells so sweet you have to like sweet scents it, it's straight up like sugar sweet bubble gum it's very linear but I love it. I have a sweet tooth. I love this. And I can literally spray usually like one spray behind here. And as I'm walking, because my hair touches it too, I guess it gets in my hair. But it will last on me the whole day. And I kid you not, this affordable clone lasts better than most of my perfumes. This is so concentrated and it performs so well and it smells so good. I love this smell. I have considered getting like the original Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, but for the cost, I just can't justify it. And because this one performs so well, I just don't feel the need to. And last but not least, it's one more lip product. Oh no, I have two more things I like. This is another lip product I got. This is by Makeup by Mario and it's the Nude Glow. And these are like his plumping lipsticks. The formula of these reminds me kind of of like those tart juicy lips, which I also love. Oh, this one's kind of melted right now. I just made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. But it's the color of this. Let me rub it in a little. The color of this, look at that beautiful nudie shade. It's like a caramel, like a caramel nudie shade. It's so pretty. The formula of this is so nice. It's supposed to be plumping. I wouldn't say it's plumping. Honestly, it's not one of like those tingling lipsticks or lip glosses that like burns your lips. It's not like that, but it does make your lips look juicy, which I love. Actually, I don't like any plumping product that like tingles and burns your lips. That's not my vibe. So I love that. And last, but okay, last but not least, this is for all my candle girlies. I am a candle lover. I light a candle all the time, all seasons. This is by Illuminar, which is created by another YouTuber here named Karina Waldron, and I won this in a giveaway. This one is called Coffee Shop. Okay, this is what the packaging looks like. She has a bunch of different ones. The packaging is gorgeous. This is, I think it's called a Woodwick candle. Okay, this is what it looks like. Yes, it smells delicious. It's called Coffee Shop, but smell aside, I am obsessed with how this sounds. This sounds so cozy. I want to light it and see if you could pick it up because I feel like if you're a candle lover, you need this. Okay, hold on. Let me be quiet. I really hope <laughs> that was weird. I understand. I don't want to blow it out. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Um, I hope that you guys could hear this. If you can't, just trust me. If you love candles, if you love the sound of a fireplace, something about these woodwick candles give me all the feels. They take like the cozy level to 1000. They are amazing her candles are amazing they last forever i have burnt this non-stop and i feel like hardly <sighs> that was intense i have burnt this non-stop and i feel like it's it doesn't even look like it's been burnt maybe a tiny bit but it still looks new because i feel like they last so long um it smells delicious they're not as strongly scented as bath and body works candles so if you're used to like that level of like highly artificial 
like scented candles it doesn't smell as strong as that it doesn't like fill my whole house okay but it still smells it still smells delicious but in a smaller space and even with that said I love the sound of this I love how long they last I love how it's like such a clean burn they don't get like dirty do you know what I mean anyways amazing Karina thank you so much I'm so glad I won those because they're a little bit pricey but now that I've tried it I feel like once I run out I won three and once I run out I will have to buy more because I am literally addicted to the sound of them alone to like that cozy factor it reminds me of like camping or like hearing a fireplace Ugh, I love it I love it and yeah those are all of my favorites I hope you guys liked it I'm sorry I was so rambly it's been a while since I filmed and that always happens when I don't from film for a while but anyways if you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check me out on my other socials. They're always linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.